And we should be good now. Okay, I think the game is finally going to work. I probably just jinxed it. But as you can tell from the title, I've had a history with this game not letting me stream it. So, hey, welcome to what I am hoping is a Splatoon stream. And if something goes wrong, I do have a backup plan, but... Now uh, you can see I put my little message in the corner. So that if anyone shows up, they know, they can let me know. I need to make any adjustments for the audio or the visuals here. Let's just pick a weapon and get into a turf war so that we can see if this is going to work. And then we'll figure out where to go from there. Let's see. I haven't used Umbrella in a while. Let's do the Sorella Brella. That one's different enough. Diddly diddly do. Off we go. The battle of Splatoon. We're in the lobby now. Besides this, uh, recently I've been, of course, continuing on to Path Traveler. I'm about to start Chapter 3 with people there. I have also been getting back into the SNES Classic. I started playing Yoshi's Island, and then I took a break from that, and now I'm back at it so I can try to finish that game. And the, the original Yoshi's Island is... Actually, pretty hard. I have 100% in Woolly World, but of course, that has the advantage of being a modern game. But, you know, uh, better considered design and sprites that don't despawn whenever you do certain things in a level. So, I'm not trying to 100% the Yoshi's Island thing, but... I'm at least trying to play it, because it's still a nice game at its core. Okay, a little bit of defense there. And nice, uh, my teammate got the assist there. Uh, no, I, I meant I assisted my teammate, because the Brella did damage, but the teammate got the kill. Oh, no, no, don't you dare. Okay. Dealt with that. I have a bomb rush. I should use it. Now seems like an optimal time for the bombs to explode. Took you long enough, bombs. I mean, seriously. What do you think you are just exploding it? Not when I want you to, but when you want to. What type of bomb does that? Uh. Alright, alright, uh, staying back a bit. Man, that sniper on my team is really pulling their weight. Shoot. Out of ink when I'm about to try and climb up the enemy base. I'm actually gonna try to climb up this way. The carbon roller was waiting for me. Oh, but I was ready. To hear that carbon roller, I was ready for you. Oh, I see you in the rail. Don't you think you can get away from me? Let's see. Oh, this could be an opportunity. I, oh, I forgot. Why did I think I had the splashdown? I very clearly used my bomb rush not that long ago. You would think I'd remember that. Hey, you. Knock it off with your roller. Uh, hopefully that wasn't enough to set it back. I don't think it was. Nope. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, in case anyone was wondering, yeah, Wednesday is when I normally would have continued Dungeon Rumble, but I'm trying to do episode recaps for people, and once again, I didn't quite get to film the most recent one before today. So rather than rush that out, I just decided Splatoon's working. Let's play it. Ah, uh, what next? What next? Do 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 do. Taking a weapon. Do do do. Uh, let's give it up for the Forge Splatter Shot Pro. It was, after all, the first weapon to introduce the bubble blower. All right, things are picking up now. Here we are at Port Mackerel, where hopefully the range of the Splattershot Pro will be my best friend. Now is the blah 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 bar user going up or down? Because I need to decide where I'm going. Okay, she went down, so I'm going up. It's gonna be a little difficult to read where your allies are gonna move so that you're being the most efficient with your ink, or as I sometimes call it, ink efficient. I don't really call it that all that much. Oh, they have a blob blobber on their team too, and I was not prepared apparently. Oh god, they're already trying to get in here. That bomb did not go where I wanted it to. Oh, we all got so hung up on that one guy that they're just gonna... He's just gonna jump to someone we didn't get, you know? Kind of a precarious situation. Trying out the utmost care, and I think that's Luga Dooley's. Oh my god, you're kidding me! He just waltzes in and rolls along, and now they're all up in our grill again. Die. And, uh, you there. Ugh. <sighs> This is pretty miserable. And what is going on that they are trapping us here this much? Well, there's that bubble blower I mentioned. Seriously, what is happening? I'm just gonna try to sneak. At this point, I don't even know what else I can try to do but sneak into their zone while they're busy in ours. I can't even... I'm not even letting any out. What is going on? Is our end zap DC'd? Has this been a four on three situation? That's gotta be it. Uh, don't you love it when it's useless to fight back? That's the best feeling ever, huh? Yeah, fighting the useless fight. Good job, good job. Hello, ninja. I'm just gonna go with Ninja for now. DC stands for Disconnect. That's a pretty common abbreviation. And I don't know, for some reason, even though my internet should... My internet should be perfectly fine. I pay for, you know, pretty good stuff. But, the past few times I've tried to stream the multiplayer part of this game, I've been getting disconnected from the lobby, 
repeatedly, and then I had to stop the stream. And I'll go with the regular charger for this one. So I'm hoping, and so far, we haven't done that. So far, I've been in all these matches. I mean, someone just DC'd from my team in this previous match, but... As long as I'm not the one DC'ing, I don't really have much of a problem with it. So yeah, in short, DC would be disconnect. Uh, sometimes I play Mario Kart, but the thing about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is that I played Mario Kart 8 to death on Wii U. And I got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe when it first came out because it was a nice way to fill out my library. And I was actually going on a trip pretty soon. So it was a nice game to have in portable mode, I'm not gonna lie. I have essentially beaten all the cups twice between Wii U and Switch. Uh, but it's not a game that's really stuck with me. Granted, I haven't played it in a little while, but I enjoy it. Okay, so right now, Platoon is definitely the game I'm a bigger fan of as far as Nintendo's multiplayer endeavors. It just stuck with me. Hi, Super Dude. Yes, I do remember you. Uh, as far as Fortnite Ninja, that one just hasn't interested me. I know it's free to try and I could give it a fair shot, but Platoon is really the only shooter that's really interested me. And I feel like if I tried to transition into any other shooter, like the more traditional ones, that I would be horrible. Plus, it's one of those things where so many people are already playing that game that there is no way I could keep up with the skill level. So, you know, theoretically, if I enjoyed that game, which I can't say I wouldn't because I haven't tried it. Like, I will give you that fairness. But even if I enjoyed it, I probably would not be very good in the slightest. I think I'm at least decent at Splatoon because I did keep up with it since the Wii U days. Sorry I'm not able to check chat too frequently, but of course I don't want to die. Ah, uh, the Nautilus 47. I do like that weapon. And nothing new in chat yet. So guys, I'm sure you've heard, but there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. That's a thing that came out of nowhere, as they tend to. And Nintendo's been really big on dropping news the day before it happens. That's reached me? Okay, I'm not sure why you would say that quote-unquote out loud, Ninja. You're entitled to do what you want, but... I don't know, it seems a little rude to say something like that out loud. Super Dude, no, it's a Nintendo Direct. And I do think they're going to show something Smash related, I really do. It would be a good way to close things out, or even a good way to begin things, but they're going to have 3DS stuff too. And that automatically shows that it's going to be a bunch of titles, not just Smash. So, if you want my full thoughts on that, I actually put together a little video where I list off all my predictions, and that's on my YouTube channel right now. Okay, uh, let's do... I guess I'm just gonna keep doing the turf war. Because, you know, it's working. <laughs> if anyone wants to try and jump in the same lobby, as Super Dude has just shown, my friend code is available via command in the chat. And I can certainly add you between matches. 
Uh, it's entirely up to you whether you want to do that. Alright, this one comes with Curling Bombs, so I'm going to try to use those to my advantage as we charge on the enemy. Whee! So yeah, I did try to predict stuff for the direct. Although in the past, what I've predicted has not usually turned out to have been uh, the best prediction. Did I just get two people with the Stingray, or was that the kill I got before that carried over? I guess I have to watch that back. We. Oh, I must get. You almost got me there. Keith, Keith almost got me there, but, uh, you know. I'm gonna jump back to the spawn point, and I know you can't use the Stingray in the spawn point anymore, but that's still good for me to back up, because I was pretty much right on top of the enemy, and they would have gotten me for sure if I tried to use the Stingray there. Uh, sorry, Super Dude, I was actually reading your comment, and that's how I rolled into Keith there. I don't blame you, I blame myself for not watching where I was going, but I can't believe Keith had already caught up to me. That's the revenge of Keith. up on Bran Flakes. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I think that's a reference to the cereal from Spongebob. Because <laughs> uh, in the episode of Spongebob where he thinks he would got famous on a commercial, the old man mistakes him for a box of Bran Flakes. There was also a Bran Flakes commercial, don't you know? Oh, God. Now, if it's a reference to that, then that guy gets my kudos. Jumping back to do the Stingray, got to annihilate these guys. Yeah, I got Brand Flakes. About 20 seconds to go. And someone took out Keith for me, that was nice of them. Ah, it doesn't seem like you can get a curling bomb up there. Okie dokie, we made it. Actually, there was another really good announcement today. I don't know about anyone else out there. But Netflix announced Season 5 of BoJack Horseman. It's not a very feel-good show, if you don't know about it, it's actually kind of depressing. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of people are into the... So not a lot of people are into being depressed, but a lot of people are into the show, myself included, for... Pretty engaging storyline, especially for its genre. So uh, that's actually coming a lot sooner than I thought it would. Hello, Super Dude. I don't believe we've met, Super Dude. <laughs> Hello to you, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, do I have anything? No. Ah, there it is. Two seconds later, there's your friend request. I was expecting it, since you pulled up the friend code and all. Ah, uh, just to confirm, you are brand... That, that, that makes sense because it's super dude branded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty sure this is you. <laughs> Alright, well, that is done.
Alright, and uh, it just says communication error occurred because I went to the home menu, so I'm not worried about that. Alright, let's check things here. League is tower control right now. So, Super Dude. Uh, oop. Since you're joining me and I'll... Let me ask, but do you like to stick with Turf War? Or we could do a pair in League for tower control? Or I think a Salmon Run should also be open. So, uh, those would be our options right now. So, if you've got a request for one or the other, or the third one, then, you know, let me know. I'll give it a moment because delay. <laughs> Again, that is, uh, there's Turf War. Since it's just you and me right now, we can pair up in League. That's also if you have League Unlocked, which I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go on a limb and assume you do. I'm assuming you're ranked high enough to have League. Or Salmon Run. League, okay. Let's set up a pair. And I will create a room. And to ensure that it's you, I'm gonna set the password to think. Okay, set it to nine nine four four. That is the password nine nine four four. I got the nine from your username, and the four was just a random addition. A lot of people just use the same number in all four digits, and I don't really see what good that does. So, yeah. Just find me in League and 9944. Meanwhile, I will gear up for some tower control, and, uh... My main for both splat zones and tower control is the NZAP-85. I like having the suction bombs, especially for the tower. Then my gear, currently what I consider my best gear, but I'm sure I could have, I can afford to have more options. What I consider my best gear is these headphones with ink resist, this shirt with thermal ink and ink recovery up, and these shoes with special charge up. And you made it, and you got a dynamo. Wait, let's roll. Blumps. I've also said let's zap. <laughs> Except that one's not really a pun, so yeah, let's roll it in. We're up again, Rachel, Adam, El Beto, 182, Agent Wumi. Which I'm pretty sure there's a ton of people that go by the name Agent Wumi, so kudos for originality, Agent Wumi. And we're just waiting on two more to fill. Two more slots to fill. Well, we'll either get Black Belly Skate Park or Dolby Arena. And let's see. Ah, there we go. Ah, uh, looks like there's another pair in here. Flex Seal and Flex Tape. I'm assuming they're paired up because they both have the word flex in their name. I don't think that's a coincidence. Otherwise, the odds of them being in the same lobby would be pretty weird. But anyway, Agent Womb is on our side. Well, now we have to win. Onwards. Now, of course, the nice thing about League is it lets you play the ranked gameplay modes without the uh, ranking. <laughs> so, you know, it's not public embarrassment if you lose. But don't worry, we aren't... We're here for the fun of it. If we lose, that's no skin off my bones, it's just League. 
If I really cared about my rank, I would be in regular rank right now. Hey, let me... I'll just take advantage of this platform and jump up here. Oh, that suction bomb reached me. I was worried. Oh, nice. There's a splash down by Agent Woomy. Brandon and I respawning. Doesn't seem like there's a very safe place to jump, so I'm going to open up this right lane for some travel. Uh, Blah Blobber is got me in their sight, but I got them back. I put on some armor right before I get sniped. Oh, we got the tower. Agent Wumi is not too close to the tower, so I can jump their way. Hey, I got my eye on you, Roller. Yeah, I got Flex Seal. That suction bomb almost reached me again. Oh, no. Oh, they got a bunch. Someone had a suction bomb rush. That was too much. Oh, boy. Uh, we are still winning. They've only got two points towards the goal. But, uh, you know, don't rest on your laurels. I've seen games get completely turned around in overtime, so we cannot stop until it's truly over. Alright, got Rachel stuck in the ink. How did I get sniped again? I know how I got sniped again, I just don't like it. I'm going to trust El Beto and jump to where he was. Try to cut them off here because that's where they're sniping us from. Or at least me. I don't know if anyone else is getting sniped by the guy, but I sure was. Hopefully that thinks him down. He tried to throw a splash wall, but he threw it into the uh, lower level. Meanwhile, I jumped onto the higher level and got around it. And throw a suction bomb on the tower to try and cut off that guy that he had ink armor, but someone else got him. A lot is happening. Here's some ink armor for our own team. Mine is gone because of a stray blob blob. Uh, we lost the tower, but I'm just going to sneak around here and hope that I can do something worthwhile. Get away from me, you sniper. I see your laser pointer. I got him off the tower, but uh, they're about to get right back on. Hi, right, Brandon, I'm jumping your way. And now the suction bomb, just in case it's not safe. Now, what I really like about the end zap is its ability to cover things pretty darn quickly. All this green that they've got in mid, let's just make that go away. Oh, I got their sniper, nice. That tower was pretty much covered in green. And instead of a suction bomb, I hope one of them jumps into it. Gotta get off the tower sometimes, because you get a suction bomb like that in your way. What hit me? He seriously sniped me? From there? Where I was? Oh my god. That sniper is not to be messed with. Okay, the armor's down. And off the tower. Or such, I wasn't trying to get up on the tower. If it hadn't forced me up the tower, I wouldn't have been in that bomb's brain. Oh, well, we just gotta focus on defense, because that time is ticking down. We are almost there. Five, four, three, I'll get on the tower to try and give us a little extra time, and there we go. Nice work. Nice work all around there.
six battles until we get our League Power. Yeah, I'm still a sucker for variety, even though I do have main weapons. So, as much of a sucker as I am for variety, I think I'm gonna switch to the Squiffer and see how that goes. Like I said, this is all for fun in League. Alright, so Brandon just making his preparation. Oh, you gotta go. Alright, well, nice hiding. Maybe we'll try again some other time, okay? Bye, uh, thanks for coming. Alright, well, in that case, regular ranked modes in Rainmaker right now. So, if I don't have any viewers waiting on me, then I may as well just play some ranked. Yeah, I know, because school, but I don't know if I told you this, but I am a teacher, so believe me, I understand the importance of school. Now, once I get back into a job, I will surely have less of these streams. <laughs> uh, anyway, my Rainmaker main is the mini Splatland featuring the Burst Bomb. Uh, maybe I ought to update the title here. I Alright, so hopefully changing the title encourages people to come in. But in the meantime, I appear to be alone. And as such, I will take this Rainmaker by storm. Because brain storm. Ha ha, ha ha, we get it? Okay. We got a blob lover on each side. That weapon has been ridiculously popular. I know a lot of people think it's overpowered. And sure, I've had some encounters with it that were less than pleasant. Because I was on the receiving end of its shots and I didn't like that I got splatted, but I don't blame the weapon! That was a totally avoidable situation, and there I go, just completely messing that up. Yeah, I'm sure they're about to take the Rainmaker, because they had a lot of ink over there, and my teammates had all just kind of jumped at them. I like having Tenta Missiles for Rainmaker as well, because everyone gathers around the Rainmaker, so it's not too hard to target people. Hey, I got someone with the final shot of my... Oh! Well, they had more firepower on that shield than I thought they did. I want to jump over there, but I know it's dangerous. Alright, I got their brush. Not what I was aiming for. So then aim better if you didn't hit what you were aiming for, am I right? Uh, time for missiles. They got bubbles, I got missiles. Wait, did I actually hit them? I don't know if I hit them with the missile or the shot from the splatling afterwards, but either way.
Wait, they have it? Oh, I have it. Why do I have it? Oh my god, I don't know what was taking me so long to climb that, but... Man, everyone was so focused on the back way that I just went up the front way and I was met with, like, no resistance whatsoever. Which is weird, because you get this big glowing target on your back with the Rainmaker. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm A- minus with the Rainmaker, I was trying to get it up to A or A+, plus, but then my bracket broke, so now I gotta work my way back through A-. minus. But that's okay, because I like that I'm at least ranked higher than B. That was always my goal, was to not just be a B-ranked average player, but instead to at least have an A on my name. I know that S, S+, plus, X, there's plenty of better rankings out there, believe me, I know. I am certainly not calling myself one of the world's greatest, but... If I can at least say this, it's that I'm better than some people, and that is okay by me. Alright, round two here. Over this way. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. That was a close call. See how the burst bomb can really help in these types of situations? Oh, God. When did the. Uh... Alright, I got completely blindsided. Wow. I was actually trying to retreat and use my missiles, but didn't really get to do that now, did I? Can one of my shots hit something? Is that too much to ask? Oh boy. Wow, they are turning this around. This is not good. Oh, what? Clearly, I underestimated the burst bomb's power there. I thought they were within range to be killed by a burst bomb. What? <clears throat> Just about to duck behind that box and then you show up. Who do you think you are? As in with me, well. No! First you, Crystal! Oh god, they wiped the whole team, didn't they? Okay, I don't like getting that close, but obviously I needed to do what I needed to do. Let's just have some missiles go out there. Okay, someone got my signal and jumped to me. And then we both died, jumped into the explosion and died. We're idiots. We are idiots. Good job, fellow idiot. You did what I wanted you to do and we both suffered. Nope! They keep hitting me while I'm climbing that dang wall. Hey, thanks Rob for the host. That seems like an auto-host, since no one's watching, but... 
Fill host. Oh my god. No, 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 no. They're about to catch up. No. No! You are right in front of me. Die. Okay, I know you had a bunch of suction bombs placed, I get it, but that just seemed a little... That was weird. That ending was weird. At least I think it was. As you can see, I tend to do a bunch of killing with this weapon. Sometimes it works out, sometimes not so much. But hey, good thing. You know what, I'm gonna be bold and change weapon. I've still got... I don't have any cracks in the meter yet, so I think I can afford to be a little risky with how I play. No, I'm gonna go with the original Squeezer. I really like its ability to shoot farther when uh, you press the trigger instead of hold. I really like that because it definitely helps you hit some targets you wouldn't otherwise. That Stingray is going to be a godsend to break that Rainmaker shield. And the Splash Wall should help us uh, with some lane control. Temporarily blocking some paths. Oh well, yeah, let's try to be strategic. So someone's got dabble doolies, which means they might be placing beacons, so I will want to keep a close eye on the map. Alright, while they... Oh, everyone's going this way. I thought they were going to break the shield, and I was going to cover this area. Alright, well, they tried to grab the shield, but we stopped them at least. Ah, uh, got auto-bombs and missiles after us. This is a recipe for disaster if we're not careful. The other thing I could try to do with the Stingray is target the person holding the Rainmaker, because... As I mentioned before, they got that big glowing target on them. Oh god. Um, I, I am right in front of you. They are just getting off missile after missile. They must be doing something, right? I guess I'm holding the Rainmaker now. Not how I expected to go about this. Hopefully that little advance helped. I guess the key word there is little. Granted we're in the lead, but they had so much turf. Oh god, they got around the wall. No, 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 no. Oh god, no. <laughs> okay, new plan. Cover more. Focus on coverage. Let them get the shield, because they are doing fine with that right now, at least. But it's this side I was worried about. They had so much on this side that if they advanced from that side, it would be easy for them to reach us. Try to jump, try to jump, try to jump! <sighs> Alright, I got the Rainmaker away from them, at least. I felt a little desperate. Or a lot desperate. <laughs> As evidenced by the fact that we've already lost the thing that we sought to gain. Ugh. They're 
gonna get me. I hate when I'm right. Or holding them off, but it's really desperate. It is such a desperate endeavor to get them to stop touching the Rainmaker. I'm sorry I'm not talking much, but this is, like I said, such a desperate endeavor to try and stay in this. I do not know what I was thinking. I don't know whether I should be proud of that or disappointed. I'm just gonna jump over to where they are. It seems green enough that it'll be safe. Uh, okay, I stopped their slash down. That's really nice. Wait, why do I have it? Okay, at least I didn't lose it, because that could have thrown the thing into overtime, and then they could have made their comeback, but somehow we held on. Somehow, some way, we held on. Also, did that person ever put down beacons? I did not see any. That you're using the Dapple Doolies, but you're not putting down the beacons, then why aren't you using the other Dapple Doolies? Because then you could at least be toxic misting people and slowing them down. But no, you're not even going to use beacons to try and get at the better vantage point. That guy is such a disappointment. Such a complete and total disappointment. I do not even know how to describe it. How much of a disappointment that was. Alright, uh, what else is going on with the game right now? How's the salmon going? Mm, Alright, well, the bonuses. Yeah, I guess we could run over some salmon. I'll go for a little while longer by doing some salmon run, but then I'll be ready to cut off the stream. It's been... It's been a day. But again, if anyone's lurking out there, for some reason my dashboard is not telling me... Not even... Not even giving me an estimate on how many viewers I have. I'm going to make a bold assumption and say that it's probably zero. <laughs> like, gee, I wonder why I think that. But anyway. <laughs> if anyone does happen to be viewing this by chance. Uh, you know, there's some upcoming stuff. If you're enjoying what you're seeing here, I've got stream archives as well as music remixes and for today with the Nintendo Direct coming, I even have a prediction video for that all on the YouTube channel, which you can get a link down below. There's a command for it. And then I think there's also just an outright clickable link. Where is the boss? Here's one of them. I like a charger in the base game, but I might like it even more in Salmon Run, because just getting that snipe off of, I mean, especially the steel head, getting that is 
pretty darn satisfying. And see, I even finished off the Drizzler. Ooh, upcoming Steelhead. Snipe dump. Alright, well, let's make sure that we're getting enough eggs back, because we still need five more. Barely made it up that elevator. Uh, looks like I need to retreat here. We need one more egg. That guy has one more egg. Alright. Oh. Shame at the end. As long as the whole party's not dead, I'm fine. Also worth noting, I like to make sure I know what special I have, because it's surprisingly easy to forget that you even have them in the first place. But I have the Stingray, which would be very important for a mothership, or... Well, hey, speak of the devil. I gotta say, the Julie Squelchers are really nice for killing these guys off. I'll hang back here, grab these eggs, and I'll also be in position with Stingray as necessary. Alright, time for it to rain golden eggs, and for the mothership to get off our back. I'm liking it. We still have 35 seconds. Peace. Alright. Can I go over the Stingray again? We already have way more than enough golden eggs. I think I'll just focus on shooting it down. Oh, but I also have to focus on not dying and possibly helping my teammate out as well. I got one egg. It's not great, but... Ultimately, it doesn't kill our chance of getting through this. We do, we do, Luna Blaster. Did you jump in the water? She... I've been there, done that. Sometimes I misread the tide symbol and end up jumping in the water prematurely and there's a gorilla on my butt. This sucks. <laughs> oh, if I had to pick a weapon for the gorilla, it, the blaster would have definitely been the one I wanted. Try to stay on the higher ground. Say that, and then I decide to drop to the lower ground as another one is approaching. And I grabbed the egg I was trying to. I do have my other stingray, but I don't think that really works on these. Well, too late. I mean, I'm sure it works on their tentacles, but I don't think it works like it does with the fly fish, where you can actually get through them. Pretty sure they're somehow immune to that. Man, everyone just... What beat it at the end there? Like, no, no wave three for you. Goodbye. I suppose one more won't hurt. Doo-dah, 
Uh, hey, we got the one weapon that we didn't get in the last run, which was the Splat Roller. Which is particularly good when you are faced with, uh... There you are, you here. No, but you're pretty close. Oh yeah, you're in that one. Anyway, uh, it's particularly good for Glowfly missions, because you can just stand in front of the hordes of enemies and roll them over until you run out of ink. You gotta be careful when you get to that point of running out of ink, but otherwise... I mean, look, right here. In the Glowfly missions, you don't get too many of those big guys. And I know their official names are Co-Ox, so you don't go correct and make them. Alright, you're in this one. I figured with the amount of light that was coming out of that other one that we were pretty close. Clean up some of this thing. We got 30 more seconds. No, you are not in that one. No, bad. Bad hole. You're probably in the opposite one because that was the bad hole. There you go. Enjoy your eggs. Wait, I have another stingray? I thought I used one in the last round. Oh, this is wave one of the what? The whoops. Sometimes I got my rounds mixed up. I thought we were in wave two of the... Well, okay, well, now we're in wave two of this round. If that's any consolation, which I don't think it is. My bad. Just gotta be particularly selective of when I use that other one. Uh, head this way, because there is a moth and a scrap bark. Hey, we bombed him, sweet. The nice thing is that he's not too far from base, although it would have been nice if he wasn't on the fan platform. Before you tell me it's a propeller lift, I know. Uh, I try to make it a point to shoot down the rain clouds, because otherwise you can't get anywhere. Become so hard to move. I don't know why more people don't prioritize getting rid of the dang thing. Hey, here's an egg I can take. Oh! Oh god. Oh, well, time to spam help. Help me, 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 help me. This is only wave two. It feels like wave three, but it's wave two. All right, we got another one close to base. We, I'm going to uh, deal with you because we've met the quota and the goal now is just to survive. And I know that's an underachiever talking, saying, oh, I don't need that many more eggs. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's true. If you want to win, you just gotta do what you need to do. All right, sweet, I get to end off with the charger. I'd say there is a boss somewhere. Where? This way. Alright, snipe the steel head before that got out of control.
Oh, not you again. I got you, but I wasn't a full team already. No! I thought I was being smart and using my sword charge, but oh my god. Help me. Help me, Dino. Ow. 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 I will use my stingray if you help me. Because I need to be in a good spot for that. I got destroyed while I was mounted on the stingray. Dude, get the egg to the basket! I know we're not gonna make nine more in the time limit, but you could have at least acted like you were trying. Oh, the twins are hosting me now. I thought that was... I saw that notification, but I did not realize that that was a different one. Someone else hosted me earlier, and I thought that was the same notification, but thanks, twin. Woo! Oh, I clicked again. I guess I'm going again. That's fine. You can never have too much salmon run. That's a lie. You can definitely have too much salmon run, but uh, two matches is definitely not too much. Alright, got the roller. And we're at high tide. I like to ink these small walls because they give you a way out. They give you an extra way out just in things just in case things get too hairy on the ground. And at least you have the wall to fall back on. And most salmonids can't really do anything when you're in the wall anyway. Nice sniping there. Roller is also great for small fries. Otherwise they're just a pesk and a nuisance. Alright, I got the bomb on you. I thought I missed for a second there, so I was kinda worried. Mom should take out you, and then we need to not have the stingray going off. Thank you very much. Low ink. Low ink was my downfall. Also, I just noticed that we're in a DC. Can you aim a little lower? Thank you. I just noticed this is a three-person mission. Because DC. And I tried to get out of that rain cloud, but you didn't give me the ability to do so, game. Like, like, help. Okay, just survive. Could I have busted out the bomb rush? Yes. Was that a help? I don't know. Probably. But now do we have it for wave two and three? Yeah. All right, starting with a steel head and a steel heel. No one has a charger, so we're gonna need to focus our fire to get that steel head. That's the other thing about having a DC in Salmon Run is that you are Missing a weapon that the game would recommend having. You know, for good reason. If they give you a charger, then it's good for those situations with the steel head or other such thing. Thank you for throwing into the right basket, because I had already aimed at the left. Oh no, that's water, dang it. 
Uh, two of us are down. Where is the Luna Blaster guy? I need to bust out the bomb rush. We gotta focus on surviving. We also need five more tanks, but that's beside the point. If we don't survive. Come here. You're a source of three eggs, so come here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Gonna blow it. I got our tenth egg. Let's get out of here. It's the final five seconds, so I really don't want to use the bomb rush anymore. Alright. The Revival is the name of the game. Now it's called Salmon Run. Now it's actually called Splatoon 2. And Salmon Run is a mode. We got high tide for all three rounds. In the same round as a DC. And you're being a jerk. I know if I can hit that back at him, it's a one-hit KO on the guy. But, if I have to choose between getting rid of the rain cloud or one-hit KOing the guy... The... Or, no, rather, let me rephrase that. If I have to choose between getting rid of the cloud for sure, or probably not, Hitting the cloud because I'm trying to one hit the guy. I am using this. I have two. Oh my god. Help me. No, no, no. There's so many of them. Get them out of my sight. What's with all the scrappers? We can make the quota. There are enough eggs to do so. But we need to get them in the basket and we need to survive. And that was ridiculous. Oh, we actually met the quota, but we all died. Uh. Well then, 352 is a good place to stop, wouldn't you say? I'll just go claim my bonuses and then we'll call this a session with Splatoon 2, but hey, for once, the game actually worked the way it was supposed to. Wow, it's like I don't have crappy internet and the game just decides to be a jerk sometimes. Eh, who knew? No, I don't think I checked the shop for gear, so... I'm gonna do that, but I am gonna stop the recording here, not this stream. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, my Twitch link is in the description, and have a nice day.